Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Uh, today is a bit of a team video. I'm going to be speaking about Danny Mandrew's link, we'll say, at this minute time at Shamrock Rovers. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Now, in the last few days or so, Danny Mandrew has really, his links with Shamrock Rovers have really picked up steam. Uh, Tony O'Donoghue came out, O'Donoghue even came out in a podcast and uh, he speculated that um, he was close to signing for Shamrock Rovers. Now, this link is something I heard of a good few months ago at this stage and I've heard it a number of times over the last few months, but I've kind of ignored it because, um, you know, I've seen it as idle speculation. It's still that, who knows, but there's so much talk about it now, I feel like I have to say something and comment about it. Um, the fact is that Danny Mandrew's contract ends at the end of the season, so that's a fact. That means he could leave Bohemians and obviously uh, sign a contract with another club whereby Bohemians won't get any money for him. He could also sign back with Bohemians for all we know. But it's curious that... Before lockdown, Mandrew had played all the games, as far as I remember, for Bo Bohemians um, and started all the games. I believe he did. His last game that he started anyway was the 6th of March in a 2-0 win against Shelburne in the, the North, Lon North London Derby. <laughs> the North Dublin Derby, um, which he scored in, by the way. It was a 2-0 victory. Um, he has featured seven times in the league this season. It doesn't seem that bad because a lot of their, you know, the likes of Keith Ward has featured 10 times. But, you know, he hasn't started since he returned from lockdown, which has always been curious. Now, I know he missed the first few games through injury, allegedly, but you'd have to go with that, that he was injured, let's be honest, in the first few games. Then he came back and he was on the bench, and he's been on the bench ever since, um, sometimes not being used as a sub either, I don't think he was used against St. Patrick's Athletic, and that, now some could argue, Bowles are winning all their games, he was injured for, first, for the first few, why would he come in and start, and I agree with that point entirely, uh, fully agree with that point, but is there something more here, um, I think curiously for me, the game against Cabin Teeley where Bohemians won 2 0. Keith Long actually made nine changes in that match, and there was no sign of Danny Mandrew. He wasn't on the bench either. So that, that one is a bit curious for me. Um, obviously, Dawson Devoy played. Uh, Devoy has often been used from the bench ahead of Danny Mandrew. They're both kind of similar in terms of the positions they take up in the pitch. So that's interesting as well. Now, interestingly, Mandrew did come on against Shamrock Rovers at Tallis Stadium and made a bit of an impact there. Um, That's that's an interesting one for me as well. But, you know, Tony O'Donoghue's comments are strange. I have listened to it as well. And, uh, you know, are the throwaway comments a little bit? Uh, is there something really behind this? Now, I was trying to think about it as well. We'd say it's true for a minute, okay? We'll say that Danny Mandrew is going to sign a contract at the end of the season for Shamrock Rovers and he's going to stay in the league. Um, I'm curious to know, would he have had any offers elsewhere as in across the pond? Um, or even there was talk about 20 in the Dutch league as well. Um, we do know if he goes to Shamrock Rovers, he will get a decent wage. We know that for a fact. Maybe it's a case of he wants to stay in Dublin. Um, and play, obviously play for a Dublin club. He wants to live in Dublin, stay in Dublin. But, you know, let's be honest, in the League of Ireland, um, you know, if you do get a decent increase in wages at another club, you're going to take it. Let's be honest about it. Um, it's not like you're professional playing for Manchester United or Liverpool where you're on huge, huge money. Would I see it as stabbing Bohemians in the back? Not necessarily, in my opinion, if I'm completely honest. I know the Bowles fans would probably see it that way. But, you know, think about it this way. If you're working in Dublin, you're working in a job in Dublin, and you're living in Dublin, you want to stay in Dublin and live there, um, and you're being offered, 
say 500 a week, okay, at a current job. Same job pops up with a different company, exact same job, and say you're offered 1,500 even. Which one are you going to take? You know what I mean? So there's an element of that that comes into it as well. There is question marks over Danny's attitude for me in general um, because um, he's – look, Danny Mandrew is a fantastic footballer. He's a really gifted footballer. He's one of those footballers he would pay in to go and see play. Uh, very good vision, very good in the ball, part of a good Irish under-21 side. But there's something about his mentality. I don't know if it's a laziness or what that doesn't sit right with a lot of people um, in my view. Now, it's going to be interesting to see how this develops because if, if these links are really, really true, um, you don't blame Keith Long for not playing him in the Bohemian side, let's be honest about it. And as I said, bowls are going well anyway. Um, there's a possibility then that it's not true and it is what it is. He was injured for the first few games for Bohemians after return. Um, he can't get his place back in the side because Bohemians midfield has been doing very, very well and they've been getting the results Shamrock overs away aside. So there's that possibility as well. Um, and that he's literally out of contract. That is a fact. But he's, you know, he hasn't made a decision. Like a lot of players do in the League of Ireland when their contract is coming to an end. There's no decision made until late in the day, let's say. And they often re-sign with the clubs or they don't. It could be just looking at his options. So um, be interesting to see how this develops, as I said. Um, Bohemians fans, what would you think of this link? Do you think... There's mileage in this link. Are you impressed? Um, would you care, actually? Uh, and Shamrock Rovers fans, kind of the same questions, really. Um, would you be impressed with Shamrock Rovers signing Mandreo? If they signed him, do you think that you know Jack Byrne could be on the way out, moving to England, perhaps? Um, let me know in the comments, guys. And uh, That's about it. I'll see you later. Good luck.